Hello, my beautiful Aquarius children, leading us into the new age of Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We are here for a general love reading. Will not resonate with everyone. Take it as it resonates. Also, this is predictive work. It is not trying to tell you about the past, although we'll probably hit upon the history. But welcome to the channel if you're new, and thank you to my subscribers if you are returning because you've been wonderful and supportive and I'm so grateful for every one of you. So look at that. That that energy just popped out, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. And we're going to look at the bottom and see what the supporting energy also is coming in. Ace of Coins, Queen of Cups, quite lovely. Cancerian energy and grounded with Earth. Love that. All right, so... In the recent past, the energy between you and your lover has been one of a bit of defensiveness, holding your own. Looks as though you've had a little bit of conflict and you're both holding your own opinion fast and steady. Aw, look at the mutual energy right now. Nine of cups, eat, drink, be merry, enjoy the love, happiness, laughter, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, along with the Eight of Wands card. But this is the beginning. You start out in the dining room or the living room or having a sip of wine. Your person views the way forward and the path forward is something that they are studying currently. They're looking at the relationship as a whole. They're looking, it looks almost like your person is watching things on the internet now they do follow you on the internet they do spy on you but more than that this page is the one who's looking for enlightenment when there's difficulty so i read this as your person is noticing that the two of you have some distance here and that you're feeling a little bit defensive and they're trying to research how to come through that issue with you i liked it good energy book that's all about learning Sword is all about the risk of staying in this energy and willing to take the risk for the sake of the relationship. Oh, they see you as a very prim and proper and buttoned down person who has very philosophical ideas about what relationships are, what creates stability. It's Taurus energy. They see you also as their perfect partner. Beautiful energy. What do they feel in their heart space? Queen of Swords energy. They're very much in their intellect right now. They're not in touch with their heart space. This person is again studying your relationship for what they think could be right, wrong, whatever it is about the relationship that they find disharmonious and they're trying to find a solution or an answer. If it doesn't serve them, they would, you know, they would move forward without the relationship. But that's Libra energy. It's very rational. It's ruled by Venus, which is love because it's Libra energy. It's a seventh house. So it's like, it's almost like Judge Judy saying, look at, I really, really love you, but we need to know if this can work at a practical level. So the love is there, but Saturn is there. So your person is looking at this in a very, very intentional, deliberate way that's very serious. With the Hierophant card here, they, they do feel as though they have some different viewpoints on relationship because their back is turned to this card. How do they view the relationship moving forward? Oh, lovely. They really want to be, they're making chess moves. The Emperor is always a person who's looking to manifest what they want, very strategically moving forward in relationship in a leadership role. So if you've been the leader in the past, Aquarius, your person, you're now at this time in the development of your relationship where your beloved person is moving forward in a very leadership way, very strong. Right now, the two of you are going through a period of time in which both of you are feeling a little disenchanted. You may have been stuck at home too much during this period of weirdness in our history. I don't really ever see this as a bad card. It's just more of a, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I don't have a lot of energy, I don't have a lot of laughter. But right now, you've had some really good times. So... 
but it is hidden. It looks like both of you are in a state of thing, what thinking in terms of the relationship and life in general, like what could make life more lively and more fun. Spirit's recommendation. Oh, look at this. You are divine partners. The Empress card is Venus. This is, this is Taurus energy. So Spirit is saying that you are the divine partner of your person, that you are a divine match, and to move forward with it. You know, that is the manifestation of a divine love. And Spirit is recommending that you have success, that you choose success. Beautiful. I very, I've, I don't know if I've ever gotten the Empress in that position. Well, anyway, carry on. All right. So as you end the week, you're both all, you're sort of in your own corners. I almost feel like there is a debate going on. And I like this style. This is a very good style of conflict resolution. In small bits, you know, not dumping out everything on each other all at once as you figure out and plot your course forward. We're seeing that both of you hold back, and I think it's appropriate given this energy. I like the fact that both of you are intellectual enough and love each other enough to manifest something and to work through problems. Conflict resolution is probably the number one reason people break up that they can't, they don't know how to do it. It becomes a brawl whenever there's a difficult situation. But the best couples can be very strategic in the way they discuss things. So the people that I know that are very successful will talk about one problem every night for 10 minutes, like a debate team staying neutral, but holding your own and being very respectful of each other. That to me is a beautiful energy. I like this reading for you. So let's get in here and dig into the details of what may be the issue that's underlying, but it looks as though the two of you are, um, Gemini energy is all about communication. And that eight of swords is communication. Sometimes what you don't say is every bit as important as what you do say. Okay, so right now you're holding back. I feel as though it's not necessarily a bad thing. Clarifiers will tell the story, Aquarius, okay? So why is the Queen of Cups here? Both of you love each other. Both of you want a solid relationship. Nine of Cups. You've never been happier with anybody else. Feel confident in that. That Nine of Cups is joy. It's also Pisces energy. There could be... So we have, for the energies, I'm going to stop for a second. So the Seven of Wands energy is Leo energy. We have Pisces, we have Gemini, we have uh, Taurus, Taurus, Libra, Aries. Um, Four of Cups is Cancerian and Gemini again. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is Spirit saying that this is a good relationship? Lover's card. Wow, okay. Yeah, the two of you together make very practical choices because the lover's card used to be called the choice card. However, the two of you are soulmates. You found each other almost by accident. I would say that you stumbled upon each other because spirit brought you together in the past. All right. So why do we have the seven of wands? What is this sort of defensive feeling? What is the topic here of discussion? And or it doesn't matter even what the topic is because it could be different things for different people and it is. But let's see. Ah, oh, the two of you are really discussing the future. Are you going to get married? Are you going to have a family? Where are you going to live? How will you build abundance and wealth? Wow, that is a marriage card. This is a marriage card. This is divine couple. Wow, Libra is marriage. That energy is always marriage. Let's see. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. This is about, this card is all about keeping the passion alive, keeping the laughter alive. It is all about how do you love with such fulfillment and keep your sense of independence within the parameters of a relationship, a stable, steady relationship. The Knight of Swords energy, your person really has some very strong opinions about this. They're aching to tell you. 
Uh, it is a very blunt energy. I call it runs with scissors. So your person may really be blunt. They, but they're telling you what they're finding. They're telling you when, they, when you have this sort of debate about how to make decisions. I really like it. Your person's being very forthright because they feel secure in your relationship. The Knight of Wands energy says that your person has a lot of desire for independence. But they have some goal that I think that the two of you are disagreeing about in terms of self-expression. And your person is feeling confident enough to go forward and do what they need to do for themselves within the context of the relationship, even if you disagree. And that really is very important to a relationship because we do have to maintain our individuality. So it looks as though, I like it. It looks as though you are working through the thorny issue of you know, being in relationship and yet maintaining the power as individual humans that we all need to have for happiness, for joy. The two of you do that very well right now. So what you're, what you looks like you're discussing is if we were to marry, how can we guarantee? And we don't know the answer. So we'll hold back on defining it at this time until we, we know. Okay. So your person feels as though you would be okay if you didn't marry. I get, you know, this this judgment card means that at the end of the day, it can also mean an alternate meaning and a dual meaning of this is that if they ask you to marry them, then the final decision is yours. All right, so why else do we have the judgment card here? Because a decision is going to be made, but they do think that you will. Ah, the oh, look at that energy. I'm going to put this here and move this over. Because a justice card can mean a prenuptial agreement, but it usually means a marriage license. So to me, it looks as though you would be very inclined, Aquarius, to marry this person. Uh, and if not, it looks as though the t you're very balanced. You're really, you're okay with this no matter how it goes. But I see that you want everything balanced. That's what's super important to you is balance. The strength card, they have fire in their belly for you. They love you. You are lovers. Whenever I get the strength card, your, your person's very cool, calm, collected. You have built up a long time and a long history of being reliable to one another emotionally. You have a very good history here of conflict resolution. You're all, you look like masters at this. To say nothing of past life, to say nothing of divine love. Okay. Why is the Emperor card here for this reading? This is a, this is probably the coolest love reading I've done this year by far. Nine of Wands, person has fire in their belly. You know, you two have been around together for a while, obviously in past lives, but there's just a sense of comfort and security within the parameters of how do you each, you know, be yourself, live your true self. They fall in love with you. They, it look, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm speechless. I'm tongue tied. This is so sweet. This person finds that the things that you do, that the way you both develop as individuals, creates an environment in which your person keeps falling in love with you. Like you go through these growth cycles, and every time you become more authentic, both of you become more authentic. Your person views it as both of you fall in love with each other more and more, but they they think that they fall in love with you more than you fall in love with them. <laughs> I like it. It's really, it just speaks volumes here. They're not telling you that, which is interesting because that emperor is not going to give away their tactical secrets to capturing your love. All right, so what do we have here? We have the Four of Cups. Why are you both feeling bored? Oh, you need more passion. All right. You're feeling bored without passion. There's a lot of passion, though. The Eight of Wands says that you need to try something new or, you know, you you. I think you need a change of scenery. What I'm seeing here is both of you really need a vacation. You need a romantic vacation together. And that would really also help the relationship. It gives you some stability. You don't want to spend the money. You feel like you can't afford to. But you're missing out on romance by not having an adventure. You should not go on vacation alone or apart. The two of you need a vacation together. And that's what I'm seeing here. 
you're, you know, I don't really think it's a discussion right now, but I think it should be a discussion. The two of you need to go off together and have an adventure. It's part of your soul's journey. You need it. Spirit's calling for it. And you're, you're calling for it within yourselves. The lockdown and the pandemic has taken, you know, taken you both out of that sort of day-to-day -day joy and happiness and made you a little bit, you feel a little bit blunted by it. Look at that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the Empress card, just because she is pregnant does not mean you're going to get pregnant. As a reader, I've never read it that way because the way I learned tarot, that to have a, an actual pregnancy, the Ace of Wands, come on, you know what that means. The Ace of Wands has, has to be here with the Empress to impregnate, to plant the seed, you need the Ace of Wands. This is Spirit's advice. Spirit is actually advising you. Now, this also means when we take the alternate method here, this could be a baby. But it can also mean the two of you planting the seeds for your future. What does that look like? And it can also mean virtually the creation of a new life together. And I mean man, uh, metaphorically, not necessarily physically. But of course, physical would definitely come into play. And if you don't want to be actual parents of a human baby, you might be talking about possibly the possibility of some sort of creative project together. It's some sort of, um, you know, building a home together, collaborating on something, but both of you are needed for the project. Ha ha ha, project, I'll, lay, I'll leave it there. Okay, so right now, the two of you are holding back on making a decision. You're at a crossroads, there are decisions to be made, and for this period of time till the end of August, you are really not going to make a decision. Hanged man. I like the energy. The hanged man's beautiful. The hanged man is Pisces energy. It's really very Cirque du Soleil, very comfortable, kind of fun, looking at the spiritual elements, looking at the relationship, looking at things from one another's perspective, you know, taking time to meditate, ruminate. Ten of Cups energy. I think that you are going to make the decision to get married. And I feel as though you've been together a long time. And I feel as though this is this is a really beautiful decision. Spirit's really on board with this. Spirit is saying this is really an unusual. This could, for those of you who are twin flames, this is absolutely coming into union in this lifetime and soon. <laughs> like maybe next week. All right, Aquarius, it's been a joy. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.